The Nets and the Sixers, the trade that had been rumored for the last few days. It happened. Happens, and it's basically James Harden for uh, Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, uh, Andre Drummond, and a couple of first-round draft picks. So the Nets got a lot. Uh, what do you think? What's your thoughts on the deal? Who I, won? I think, Who won the trade? I think the Nets won the trade from this standpoint. Chris and, and Rick Buecher talked about it. The Nets not only, okay, you got a guy who doesn't want to play there. If, if James Harden made it clear. You don't want to play. If you don't right, want to play, right. you, and you don't want to do that gig and force somebody to stick around. You, you get a trade. You get a guy who you can implement. Uh, you, you know, you don't know where his head is, so there's a little bit of a risk there, right? But he might be able to fit in, or he will be able to fit in with the well, pieces they have. Definitely fits, fits in, right? And they also get two first round picks back. They also weaken them a little bit by taking Steph Curry Seth, and they, yeah, right, Seth, Seth Curry. I'm sorry, and 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 they get Drummond in it. I think they wanted who did they want instead? They wanted Matisse Thibault. Right, right. And but, they settled they for settled. Andre Drummond. Yeah. But I think that they got, like, at least they got a star back. They got somebody who who uh, was looking for a fresh start and a new situation. And I don't think that they stepped all the way back, like, oh, my God. Like, oh, they didn't step back at, at all. all. And right. so, so I like the trade for the Nets. And if you're Philly, you're hoping, Chris, that James Harden is going to play better than he had uh, of late. And that it'll work and that they haven't taken so much from their team that they'll still be able to be in the hunt and in the running. So I think it worked out for best, but I'm taking the Nets in it because they get the first round picks that they want. And they gave up a ton to get James Harden, so they got that back. Yeah, look, on paper, it's, I, I, honestly, on paper, it's good for both teams. And like you said, I, I didn't think they should make the Harden trade. I thought they should. Try to give it a shot. They've only played 16 games right. with the three stars together. But if they, if, but if he came tells to them, right? you, look, I want out, you could see it in his body language, but you were hoping after the trade deadline he'd be all right. But when he tells you, I want out, my heart's not in it, then go ahead and move him. You, you, you got a haul for him. And so on paper, from the Nets' perspective, I do like it a lot. If Ben Simmons is the Ben Simmons he was – before the meltdown in the playoffs, then he's a great fit because you said he's that. a You've great been defender. Right. Yep, he can pass it. He's a big he guy. He can score, but he scores. He doesn't shoot jumpers, but he can score near the rim. Yeah, like if in Jersey or Brooklyn, you can play him inside, right? So I like him there. He can push the ball in transition and get you some easy buckets there. But the one question, obviously, Seth Curry helps because they needed shooting. And without Joe Harris there, they needed and, shooting. And he's been missing all year. Like, people forget about oh, yeah, Joe Harris. Yeah. You know, like, he's a big piece of that, too. Right. And Andre Drummond and Simmons help. Their rebounding and defense was deficient and size. So they got bigger. They improved their rebounding, and they improved their defense. So I don't know how much Drummond will play, but he's a big body that can help you if you need somebody to go in there and give you a few minutes banging. So – I like it on paper for them. Brooklyn or Philadelphia, same thing. You got a superstar now when to you pair with have Joel one, right? You still got Tobias Harris. So it's a big three. I mean, Tobias, you know, not quite a star, but a very good player. So that's your big three. But, Rob, the questions with both teams are off the paper. Where is Ben Simmons' head at? We don't know. Now, I think, I think he's going to play after the All-Star break. Right. He's going to join the team on the road in their next game, but not obviously not be ready to jump in yet. Right. But and we've seen guys get the yips before. And he had them. Is that go away automatically because you're in Philadelphia? And I think there were already issues with him mentally because he wouldn't shoot the ball for his first three, four years in the league. Right. So he's still not shooting. So he does. there's some issues there. And here's the other thing with the Nets, Rob. When they're not at home, Kyrie can't play. Right. Now, we'll see. Is that mandate going to be lifted? New York State's lifted it. Yeah, not but New not York the city. city. But, right, it's a separate ordinance. It's the same thing here in L.A., in, in California, Rob G., correct me. Like, the state is lifted, but, but the not city, LA. not L.A., the city ordinance is still in place. They expect to lift it soon. Right. And, and it might happen in New York as well, Chris. And who knows? He might be ready for the playoffs. If Kyrie's if they do there, it in April. Y you love it. I mean, you because Simmons, even if he's still not shooting a jumper, 
you don't really need him to. So when Kyrie's there, now I got two bona fide scores in Durant and Kyrie, and Simmons can just do what he does. And then a great shooter in Seth. And, you know, you, the other guys will score around Kyrie and Durant. But when Kyrie's not there, now Seth becomes your second guy. He's not quite that, you know, and that's where the challenges are. So, look, I think there's questions. Mark, and then Harden, man, look, we'll get into Harden. But uh, we'll see how what kind of fit it is because they've been running everything through Embiid. And, look, Harden's played – with a bunch of stars. And 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 now they're starting and to pile up. Yeah. Okay. And and I think if he goes to Philadelphia, he goes to Philadelphia and this doesn't work out, man, it's going you know, like it's going to be on him. He's the right. one who's had right. six, seven big time players to play with. Right. And you can't use that as an well, excuse. Why don't anymore. you have a ring? Exactly. Like, like, on, dude. like you've been paired with everybody right. everybody and their uncle. The and White you don't have Howard, anything. Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook. Uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie, Kevin Durant and Westbrook. Now, I'll give, I'll give you that. You were young. But, yeah, now Embiid. I mean, come on, dude. If you're that level that we've all thought you were and said you were, then go get a ring. And so we'll get in more into Harden later because, you know, the way he left Brooklyn, eh, not, not the best way to leave. But he got what he wanted, and now he's got to deliver. So we will see what James Harden is able to do. But, yeah, I, I think if I got to pick a winner, uh, I think I picked the Nets. Uh, but, like I said, I need Kyrie no, there. Right, and I you need, need and you also there. need to see where, where Ben Simmons is after this. Right. Uh, you know, like if he returns, as you said before, and, and plays, then they're going to be in a good spot. If not, if it's the same issues, then it, it, might, it might wind up being bad and – Let's see where James Harden is and his health. You know, you keep having these issues. Right, right. Like, what if he, what if he comes what if up the lame? Is real, right? Right. He comes and up Philly lame in Philly, and, and if they lose that, then yeah. it's a big time the other way. Absolutely. Let's just they be lost honest. Seth, then they Drummond wasn't, you know, right. Drummond they didn't need as much. But yeah, no, it, it's it's question marks galore. As much as people seem to really like it, a lot of guys like it for Brooklyn, and some for Philly. But there are a lot of question marks. And